Hey guys and welcome back to another video. Today I'll be showing you how to upgrade or update your modded Nexus 6P from pretty much any build of Android prior to the final version of 8.1 Oreo which was released yesterday. So today I'll be showing you how to use Fastboot to achieve this. So we'll need a computer for this and uh, you can currently see that we're on the 8.1 preview here from November. So today I'll be updating this phone. So let's get started right away. Let's go to our computer we will need to download a few things. First up is the SDK Platform Tools. Now this is a standalone package where you can download ADB and Fastboot, which is required for your computer to communicate with your phone. So download that one for your operating system. There are three links here. You just click on it and then you agree to the terms and conditions and click on the blue download button. Next up is the factory image for your device. And we'll just head over to Angular for Nexus 6P on the right hand side. And we'll just download the latest 8.1 version here. The build number is OPM1 and is released in the oh, in December 2017. So we'll download that as well. Next up we'll download or check if we have the latest version of TWRP. Currently I think I'm on 3.1 but it would be wise for you to download the latest version just in case. And of course you also want to download the latest version of Magisk. Today I'll be using the beta version of Magisk but you can use I think so the um, the official, I guess, stable builds of Magisk. But I'm just going to hop into the beta uh, just to see what it's like. So once you have those files downloaded, you should have them here. So here again are the platform tools, the factory image, the latest version of Magisk, and the latest version of TWRP if needed. So I will also be providing a patched boot image for those needing a 4-core boot image uh, for the latest version here. This is if you have the boot loop of death and are using that patch boot image to use your phone for the time being. So I will provide a link to that in the more info and I'll let you know when to flash that of course. So with that being said, let's get started with some extractions. First up, you'll need to extract the some stuff from the platform tools. Since we're only going to be using fastboot, we can extract two files here. Fastboot.exe and the libwinpthread-1dll, just like that extract those two files out there. Now you can close that um, zip file. Next up we're going to open up the factory image and we're going to navigate inside one folder and then we're going to extract the bootloader and radio images. Once that's done we're going to open up the image zip file within the factory image zip and that may take a little while to extract itself. Once that's opened in another window, you'll want to extract the vendor image and the system image. Now for those using the 4-core boot image patch, you don't need to extract this boot image. You'll just download the one that you have downloaded down below and have that in the same folder. And whenever, uh, when I do show flashing the boot image, you just need to flash or replace that image with your 4-core patched version. So you don't need to flash the stock boot image. But in my case, my phone doesn't have that boot loop of death issue, so I'll be extracting the boot image, the stock one. So you'll end up having the same amount of files, uh, even if you're using the 4-core boot image or the normal one. So we can close both these files now. Of course, you'll want to copy the latest version of Magisk onto your phone, which I will do right now. All you have to do is uh, just do it like you would normally, plug in your phone the USB cable, and then set the USB options or connection down here from charging to transferring files. Hopefully this works. Um, my USB 3.0 ports aren't working very well, to say the least. And then all you have to do is go to this PC, which I'm not showing. Here we are. Open up the internal storage and pretty much just drag and drop the Magisk zip file on there, just like you would when copying any other file. And there it is. Maybe you want to delete the old versions as well, just so you don't get confused. Once that's on your phone, we can now reboot our phone back into or into the bootloader. Now to do this, we're going to do a little shortcut method. You can leave the USB plugged in. What we're going to do is press and hold the power button and then tap on restart. And while we tap on restart, just hold volume down like I am right now. And just keep holding it until you get into the bootloader. So this is so we don't have to time or hold any other buttons except for just the one button. And we should get into the bootloader just like that. Now if I get this back into frame, let's go on the computer now and we'll start the flashing process. So you can see my phone's upside down and that is not supposed to be it, but I'm sure you'll understand what's going on regardless. 
So in the same folder where you have your fastboot exe extracted, all you need to do is hold shift and right click in an empty space. Now here you'll be presented with options to either open up a command window or a PowerShell window here. And I have a console emulator, which I'm going to use, but open up whichever option you'll see in your menu options. Now I'm going to move this over here. Okay, so I've just rearranged Windows here so you can see it a little bit better, I hope. And basically what we're going to do is test that our device is connected properly in the bootloader. So I'm just going to zoom in here and we're going to type in this fastboot command called fastboot devices and hit enter. Now you'll see if your device is connected, you'll see the serial number pop up here. We're going to update the bootloader first. So we're going to type in fastboot flash bootloader. Leave a space in the end and drag in the bootloader image. Hit enter. Once that's done, we're going to reboot our phone back into the bootloader. So we're going to type in the fastboot command fastboot reboot dash bootloader. This will reboot our phone back into the bootloader. Once our phone's booted back in, we're going to flash the updated radio image. To do that, we're going to type in fastboot flash radio. Leave a space in the end of radio and drag in the radio image. Now it might be a little bit faster if we just hit tab to complete our, well, file entries. So you'll see what I mean. I'll do it for the rest of these. So you can type in now to flash the latest boot image. Now this is also where you want to flash the 4-core boot image instead if your phone requires it. So this is, the, this is the part where you would change up what boot image you flash. I'm going to be flashing the stock one since I don't have the boot loop of death. But if you do suffer from the boot loop of death, you want to download the patched boot image and flash that here. So to do that, we'll type in fastboot flash boot. And now a quick way of doing this is just to type in the beginning of the file name. So then we can go boot and then press tab. And then once it says boot.img, we're going to enter. Now those using the four core patch ones that I provide, you want to type in four core and then you can press tab and that'll fill in the rest of the file name for you. Once that's done, we're going to flash the system image now and type in fastboot flash system and then we can type in sys and then press tab and it will auto complete the file name for us and we're going to enter on that. And this may take a little bit longer to do since it's quite big. So I'm going to fast forward this step until we get to the next step. Alrighty, once that's finished, we're going to flash the vendor image. So we're going to do the same thing. We we'll type in fastboot flash vendor, type in ven, and then press tab to complete the file name and hit enter. So next up, we're going to flash the latest TWRP just in case and if you need to update it, but there's no harm in flashing it again. So we're going to type in fastboot flash recovery, leave a space there, and then type in TWRP, hit tab, and then hit enter. And that should flash the recovery. Now we're pretty much done here. We, all we need to do now is flash magisk. So we're going to type in, actually no, we're not going to type in anything. We're going to go to our phone here and press the power buttons until we reach the recovery mode option. Hit the power button to select it to boot into TWRP. Now from here we'll be able to flash the latest magisk zip file here to root our phone again. Now of course you could probably use magisk manager to patch the boot image, but um, we'll just do it the good old fashioned way here in TWRP. So we need to decrypt the data partition as usual. This is just your lock screen password. If you don't have one set, uh, you might want to boot back into Android, set one, and then come back and see if that helps. We're going to swipe to allow modifications here. We're going to tap install, scroll down to that magisk zip file we copied over, and then just swipe to flash that. Okay, magisk has finished flashing, so we're going to tap on reboot here. Now if you have any mods that you wanted to install, you would have wanted to flash that in TWRP. But since I think 8.1 is quite new, I don't think you'll find too many mods that are compatible with it. But um, well, who am I to say that? I don't really use this phone too much anymore. So yeah, if you have any mods, you want to flash it then as well. So we're going to wait for our phone to boot up here. And in the meantime, I'm just going to fast forward this until we get there. Okay, so our phone is booted up now, back into Android, and let's feast our eyes on the final version of uh, well, not Windows, uh, Android 8.1. So you can see, nothing I guess has changed too much from the second developer preview, perhaps there's more under the hood stuff, and I think there were a few things that changed, but I can't think of them off the top of my head. But anyways, 
we are on the final build of Android 8.1 if we go to about phone here you can see here that we're in the OPM one okay yeah we need to check that as well don't worry about that um, OPM one you can see there and now let's have a look at Magisk to make sure we're still rooted here we are and there we are so we are on 14.5 we are rooted let's see if we can check safety net here okay no I uh, had that issue before I don't know what the deal is but I think it should be alright okay let's have a look at our root checker and there we are okay at least we're rooted and you can check safety net status a little bit later I'm sure you can check it yourselves I think it's just this phone that's not working too well with this but yeah we're rooted at least so that's how you do it guys using fastboot now thank you very much for watching of course you can follow me on Twitter if you want to chat and have any interaction and um, I guess involvement within my next videos and also check me out on other social media platforms links are down below and of course thanks for watching guys and happy flashing